Conspiracy theories. A Stoic's perspective. <laughs> My name is Paul Gordon. I'm with State Awake. Be sure that you like, share, comment, and above all else, subscribe to the State of Wake channel. Or if you do not, I will accuse you of orchestrating a false flag that is your existence. Your whole existence is a false flag. That's what I'm going to say. And that ties us into what this video is about, which is about conspiracy theories. A Stoic's perspective. Before we get into the conspiracy theory part, I want to describe to you very briefly the core principles of Stoicism. And these are very simplistic, elemental descriptions of what Stoicism is. It's much more complex than what you're going to see here, but this is it's a good start. Essentially, Stoicism is, a, is an ideal that we recognize that there are so many things in our lives that we have absolutely no control over. There are things way beyond our grasp, whether it's actions that are taken by others that we can't control or, or uh, reams of information that we cannot digest to have a fully clear picture of the reality in front of us, front of us so that we can act with absolute lucidity. And while, we, while the Stoic recognizes this lack of control, the Stoic also recognizes that there are areas in our lives where we actually do have control. And in the areas that we have control, we strive to be excellent in how we conduct ourselves and we strive to have virtue in the way that we conduct ourselves. We, we strive to know as much as we possibly can know, especially to know about ourselves and who we really are so that we can effectively grow as people that are able to maximize those small moments where we control the outcome. Now, this is very important for you to take in as to why I am going to tell you, other than for entertainment purposes, if you are spending your life pursuing conspiracy theories, if you're spending your life trying to show that this is a false flag and that is a false flag and that is a false flag, if that's the bulk of your work, then I would say it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy to me personally if you're a person of liberty. Now, if you're not a person of liberty, have at it, bro. I'm happy to have you waste your time chasing conspiracy theories. And I'm not saying that there's not a place to examine the reality, to say, you know, the was Dallas a false flag? Was Minneapolis a false flag? Was Paris a false flag? There's a place for those types of investigations. But if you do prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that those are false flags, I guarantee you nobody is going to pay attention. So I'm not saying that you don't pursue false flags. What I am saying is that it is a fruitless endeavor if that is the bulk of your work. The bulk of our work, I believe, should be two things. Two primary things that we're working Two on. primary things, I believe, are we spread the message of liberty with the hope of reaching as many thought leaders as we possibly can. These are the explorers, the people who are willing to go where no man has ever gone before and test liberty. And then the second thing is find the people who have embraced liberty and who are seeking to live liberty. Find them where you live, wherever you are at, and extend that liberty. And that is what's going to reach the rest of the folks, the ones that are not thought leaders. Because what they're going to want to see is doing, is action, is examples, not theory. You can reach some people with theory, you can reach some people with logic, but most people, you're only going to reach them with, dude, we're doing this thing over here and it's totally kicking butt and my life is so much better and I'm getting the crap that I want. Come join us. Reach the thought leaders that are out there and we do with the people that we reach. 
And when we chase conspiracy theories, we're chasing after things that are way beyond our control. There's so much disinformation out there. Information is not as valuable as standards, as principles. Live by those standards and principles, and you will be able to navigate through the reams and reams of disinformation is out there when people bombard you with quote unquote facts and figures that show why it is that we should have daddy gov. You just say principles, sorry, principles, sorry, standards, sorry. Don't care about your studies. This is what I care about. This is what I'm acting on. And we have so many things that are beyond our control, but we have plenty of things that are within our control. And one of the biggest things that's in our control is who we associate with and how we build community right in the area where we live. So if you like this video, you be sure you like, share, comment on this video, share the poop out of it. And if you don't share this video, well, actually, I won't, I won't threaten you. I'm not a threater. I'm a, not a threatening person. But I'll say, if you do not subscribe to this channel, I will find out who you are. And I will make sure that every right-wing, left-wing blog knows that you're a false flag, that you don't exist. You're a false flag. Of course, I'm just kidding. I would just appreciate it if you subscribe to the State of Wake channel. This is Paul Gordon with State of Wake.